Okay, um, we are about to examine the effect of these antibiotics on Bacillus subtilis. So we have Bacillus subtilis growing on a blood agar plate. Our here is Bacillus subtilis. I've been using some of it to culture or to inoculate other plates. When you look at blood agar, of course, you should um, try to identify alpha, beta, or gamma hemolysis. When you look at Bacillus subtilis, we see it, it appears to be, um, you can see the clear zones around where the colonies were, so it appears to be beta hemolysis. All right, beta hemolysis, you can see how clear it is. So now we need to inoculate the nutrient agar, and to do this, we need to create a uniform blonde, meaning we need to inoculate the entire plate with the bacteria, in this case Bacillus subtilis, and we try to do it as uniform as possible. So we collect Bacillus subtilis, and now we inoculate the plate with the bacteria, trying to create a uniform lawn. To do this, you apply all over the plate as much as possible. You rotate. Once you're done with one side, you rotate it, and you keep doing that until you feel con well, you're confident or you feel satisfied that the entire plate has been inoculated with that particular bacteria. So in this case, as I said, it's Bacillus uh, subtilis. All right, so when you look, you can see that the entire plate appears to have been um, strict with that particular applicator. So now that we have created the lawn, the next thing to do is to apply all this. So there are six, six discs, so this is the um, six place dispenser, all right, and we have the six antibiotics. Um, each of these will be in one of these, um, whatever it is, and the disc comes from this end, and eventually it will be placed on the plate. So let's apply our disc to Bacillus subtilis. Here, we depress this. And by doing that, we apply six different discs onto that particular plate. So instead of doing it individually, now it, it, it applies six at one time. All right, so we can see we have vancomycin, tetracycline, we have gentamicin, erythromycin, penicillin, and chloramphenicol at different concentrations. So now that we have applied the disc, the next thing is to incubate. I did. The, these previously. So now we should be able to see the effect of, um, actually let me write BS for Bacillus subtilis. So we should be able to see the effect of these antibiotics on Micrococcus, Bacillus subtilis, uh, Pseudomonas, Staph aureus, and um, E. coli. All right? So the next time around we will look for zone of inhibition. Don't forget Zone of inhibition, presence of zone of inhibition indicates susceptibility. Well, to a certain extent. No zone of inhibition uh, suggests resistance. All right? So the next time around, we will look to see, we will examine the effect of these antibiotics on these bacteria.